Stonehenge monuments that have stood for thousands of years appear unscathed after climate protesters were arrested for spraying orange paint on them, an official said Thursday. Workers cleaned the stones and the roughly 4,500-year-old monument was visibly undamaged, said Nick Merriman, the chief executive of English Heritage. It's difficult to understand and we're deeply saddened, Merriman told BBC Radio 4. It's vandalism to one of the world's most celebrated ancient monuments. The UNESCO World Heritage Site site reopened and was expected to host thousands of revelers celebrating the summer solstice, the longest day of the year in the Northern Hemisphere, early Friday. Stonehenge was built on a windswept plain in southern England in stages starting 5,000 years ago. Its origin and purpose remain somewhat of a mystery though the stone circle aligns with the summer solstice sunrise and winter solstice sunset, drawing crowds of spiritualists, druids, and sun worshippers. A 73-year-old man and 21-year-old woman were released on bail Thursday after being arrested a day earlier on suspicion of criminal damage, damaging an ancient monument and deterring a person from engaging in a lawful activity. The climate change activism group Just Stop Oil took responsibility for the act Wednesday and released video showing a man it identified as Raja Naidu blast a fog of orange from a fire extinguisher at one of the vertical stones. People gathered at the site could be heard yelling stop, and one person intervened, running up to Naidu and grabbing his arm. As the person struggled to pull him away from the monument, another man joined the tussle and then wrestled the paint can free. The second protester, identified as Nia of Lynch, 21, managed to spray three stones before she was stopped. Just Stop Oil said the paint was made of cornstarch and would dissolve in the rain. Merriman said experts cleaned the orange powder from the stones because they were concerned about how it might react to water. The publicity stunt was among a long line of disruptive acts by Just Stop Oil to draw attention to the climate crisis. The protests have halted sporting events, sullied famous works of art, and caused traffic jams. The acts have led to convictions, jail terms, and widespread criticism. The Stonehenge demonstration was swiftly condemned by Prime Minister Rishi Sunak, who called it a disgraceful act of vandalism. His main opponent in the election next month, Labour leader Keir Starmer, called the group pathetic and said the damage was outrageous. The group struck again Friday when it took credit for spray painting private jets at an airport outside London. Two women were arrested. Activist group Just Stop Oil took responsibility for the incident, which occurred a day before the summer solstice is expected to draw thousands to the ancient site. Protesters sprayed part of Stonehenge with orange paint Wednesday, calling on the British government to take action on climate change a day before thousands are expected to flock to the 5,000-year-old site in southern England to celebrate the summer solstice. A video shared Wednesday by Just Stop Oil, the environmental activist group responsible, shows two people running toward the monument and unleashing the orange paint. People nearby shout, no, and stop him, as others try to pull the protesters away. The group said in a statement that it is demanding that our next government sign up to a legally binding treaty to phase out fossil fuels by 2030. It added that the paint was made of corn flour that will wash off with the rain. It identified the protesters involved as Neev Lynch, 21, and Raja Naidu, 73. Local police said they had arrested two people following the incident. English Heritage, the charity that manages Stonehenge, said the site remains open. Obviously, this is extremely upsetting and our curators are investigating the extent of the damage, it said on social media. British Prime Minister Rishi Sunak tweeted after the incident that Just Stop Oil was a disgrace. Opposition leader Keir Starmer was also critical, saying in a post that the damage done to Stonehenge is outrageous and that those responsible must face the full force of the law. There have been a spate of protests involving historic objects and art in recent years, with activists splattering paint, soup and other substances on artwork such as the Mona Lisa and Van Gogh's sunflowers to call attention to issues including the climate crisis and prompting an international plea from museums for them to stop. This week's incident, however, seems like a bit of an escalation, said Shannon Gibson, a professor at the University of Southern California who researches global environmental politics and social movements. While previous incidents in museums typically left only surface-level damage to the protective cover of an artwork or historic object, the protesters at Stonehenge placed paint directly on a renowned UNESCO World Heritage Site. In a separate incident on Thursday, 
Just Stop Oil said two supporters broke into an airfield, where Taylor Swift's jet is currently stationed, and painted two private jets with orange paint. Stansted Airport, in response to a question about whether Swift's private jet was affected, said the artist doesn't have a jet at the airport, but it would not confirm whether the artist had landed on another plane, citing privacy reasons. It referred to a statement from Essex police that said two were detained following reports of people gaining access to a private R.